What's up guys, welcome back. So we're gonna have a VGC20 upload for you lot. A bit behind on my uploads, I know, just been busy. So today's gonna be a good one, right? We've got this new team I'm gonna showcase for you lot. It got me to top 10 in the Master Ball tier for this new series they dropped uh, in March, Series 3. I built this team late February in preparation for the new series and yeah, it's just been doing really well. So yeah, for today's upload, I'm gonna showcase it, just speed run for it real quick. I won't get into too much detail like EV spreads, etc. We'll do that another time, like a deep analysis video. For now, I want to show you a lot of some gameplay. So, so I'm going to show you guys the team first. All right, so here's the team. First things first, we needed a core. So I found this core on Reddit, this Raichu Gyarados core. Someone who built a team around it. And I thought, yeah, I kind of need to use this, right? Got my attention. Reason being, first time I ever started competitive back in Generation 4, the first team I ever built for singles was a Garage Ult team. So it kind of bring back memories of that team. So yeah, I started with Gyarados Raichu. So Raichu has the same concept really, with Lightning Rod you attract all electric attacks away from Gyarados. So this is a Salt Vest Raichu with a Nuzzle for like speed control, we've got Brick Break for like screens, Bolt Switch is to recycle fake out. Then we've got the Moxie Gyarados. I threw a light bulb on my set just to get Moxie going a lot quicker. No reason not to be getting KOs with it. And then you've got the standard move set. Can't really fix what ain't broke. And then building around this, I threw in my Lotic because I thought Incineroar would go up in usage. And then, yeah, this pairs with um, Gyarados because they will think twice about intimidating you because then they'll activate competitive. Pairs with Raichu quite nicely. And then the moveset is just absolute aids, like dealing with this set, if you're not prepared for it, which a lot of teams aren't, once it gets going, it's impossible to stop. And then I threw on Sylveon, I haven't used Sylveon since VGC 15, I got the idea from it from watching Internationals, the guy who won had a Sylveon. Props to him, because the other 99% of players had Togekiss, I'm just a bit sick of seeing Togekiss, so I got on Sylveon, Pixie Plate set, just spam Hyper Voice really, as long as you're getting that damage out, Gyarados will pick up the kills later on. And then another common trend in the internationals was everyone's running extra or Tyranitar, so I thought I need something for those guys. I needed someone with Intimidate, so I threw on him on top. He does a good job countering the pair of them and um, gave it this new item, a jetpack, to recycle fake out, but I don't think anyone uses this item because in 80 battles I've never seen anyone use it. So I just feel like being original, I'm having a lot of fun with it, so yeah. And lastly I threw an Incineroar, shout out to Yus because he set me up with it and honestly he's just always so helpful so a big thank you because Incineroar's job is to cover the team's weaknesses and he does that really well. I was going to try and avoid using it but it's just too difficult to pass up on. So yeah like I said I'll explain the team on a deeper level another time, uh, EV spreads and such. For now I'm going to show you the clip of me actually getting to top 10 so hope you guys enjoy. Now I already know I've lost because it put me so close and it didn't give it to me. Now now that I won this next win, I'm going to lose it. Watch how this guy is going to be insanely difficult. 164, watch. Watch his team. Actually, they ain't, they ain't as bad as I thought. So my opponent seems to have dedicated too hard to all physical threats. So this might not be as bad as I expected because he's got... Dracovish, Durant, and Snorlax, right? So, we'll lead with someone with Intimidate, like um, Incineroar is probably the best matchup. Because uh, he's got two Steel types and two Bug types. And he'll probably lead with a Physical Sweeper. And then, um, we'll pair that with Milotic, because I'm thinking we just coil up, right? We'll just start setting up coils with Fake Out support. And then, late game, we'll sweep with Gyarados as well, so... My lot to Gyarados. But I'm thinking obviously we don't need Raichu here. Sylveon won't do as much. He's got two Steel types. So I'm thinking we just bring him on top. It just looks like the better play. And whilst we're recycling Intimidators, like I said, he's got Dracovish, Durant, Snorlax. So we bring him on top. And whilst my lot is setting up, I'll just keep switching in Snorlax with him on top, right? So I believe that's the that's the strat here. That's what we're going with. I don't know if it'll work out because I know he's got like Toe Kiss and Buffery, but we can just fake out those guys. Can't really stop that happening. And I'm just thinking if we can get Milotic to at least two coils, then um, Gyarados and Milotic should be able to clean up the game. 
Um, anyway, that's the win condition I see, so... It goes... Okay, Duran Dracovish. That is actually really good. That is so good. So this is going to put these guys at minus one. And I'm not even going to... Like, mess around in here. I'm just going to hard switch into Hitman Top. We go off the second Intimidate. And then we should get a free coil here. There's nothing stopping us setting up a coil. I, ge I genuinely think he cannot stop this happening. So, that's really good because if we can just get off another coil, which shouldn't be too hard after that, then we're good to go, really. I mean, that's that's the problem with this guy's team. He went too hard on them physical uh, threats. And he brings Snorlax. Alright, that's not... That's not that's good and bad at the same time. I uh, just can't let him set up Belly Drum. So actually this is yeah, no actually this is fine. This is completely fine. So we're gonna fake out that slot. Um Durant stays in. So Durant is now at minus two. And Snorlax is at minus one. He goes to Rock Slide. Please for the love of God do not flinch, knowing my luck. Do not flinch. Okay, thank god. So that's the first coil, right? Plus one defense and plus one accuracy. So here, that Durant is a sitting duck. We just fake out Snorlax and set up two coils. I mean, <laughs> this is going so smooth for me for once. Um, there's nothing he can do. He he has to take a fake out if he stays in with Snorlax. He switches out Durant, so again, that's that's really awesome for me. I know I'm getting off the second coil, and he stayed in with Snorlax, which is yeah. Fine. Snorlax misses a turn here, so it's, I just got a free turn. So that's two coils in two turns. So now we know Hypnosis is um, always going to hit, so we'll go with um, close combat towards Snorlax if he stays in. We'll Hypnosis Dragovish because Dragovish can't touch Milotic. And then uh, we'll go from there, really. Okay, switch it out. That's fine. We've got a Jet Pack, so. After I get off this close combat, we'll force switch out anyway. Vicious Rend. He goes for him on top. And oh, oh dear. <laughs> Whoops, I forgot. I'm too busy um, intimidating him so often that I forgot that the Dragovish reset. I mean, I thought I was going to live it here. Oh, I am defensive him on top, but whatever. We'll bring Incineroar in. This means we'll put Dragovish at minus one and we can just fake out the Butterfree. Um, again, I don't think Drakefish can do anything, especially now that he has to burn a turn of sleep. So, so we'll fake out Barfree, and uh, yeah, we'll double into it. We'll hypnosis Barfree slot in case he switches out. Or he doesn't run protect. Uh, of course, of course he runs protect. Why would I assume he's not running? Some of them don't. Some of them give up protect for like two attacks. But yeah. Um. So kind of wasted a turn there. So we'll double into bar three again because he can't sleep the pair of us. He can only sleep one. So Drakevish is still asleep. That's awesome. And he sleeps the Milotic. Sees that as the bigger threat. So it's good because um, we're going to burn a turn of sleep on this turn as well. So we could wake up next turn and we hit this thing with flare blitz that's fine because probably a sosh right yep okay i was checking for sosh because uh gyarados will be able to outspeed it later on so i just need to make sure that breaks at this point i'm gonna stay in because i don't want gyarados to take a sleep or any damage so um it doesn't really matter what i click on my i'll take myself a second coil He wakes up with uh, Dracovish and he attacks Milotic. God knows why. I did nothing. So here he goes for a sleep powder towards Incineroar. This is what I was afraid of. That's why I didn't want to switch into Gyarados. I lost him on top, so. That's fine. I'm just gonna burn sleep turns here. So that's two turns of sleep for Milotic. Um, actually, I'll, I'll go for Pine Shot in case I wake up somehow. And then, yeah, so he's at minus one, so he's probably going to switch out. So I'm going to go for Hypnosis and Butterfree. In case Butterfree switches out. 
And yeah, he switches out Barfree. And he brings in Durant. So... So if we wake up this turn, we're sleeping in that slot, so that'll be amazing. He goes for Ficious Ren towards Incineroar, and yeah, gets the KO. Unfortunate, but it is what it is. And god damn it, we're still asleep. Why are we sleeping so long? Alright, so... I know what play I need to make, it's just really frustrating that we've slept, what, like, three turns now, so... He's gonna attack Gyarados, so whatever happens, I need to max guard, and I need to Hypnosis Durant. My prediction here is that he'll go for a max Rockfall towards Gyarados, because he can probably clean one hit KO it. And, um... Yeah, I can't let that happen. I don't even want to protect, so I'm going for a max guard instead, so no damage comes that way. So he withdraws Dracovish, um, yeah it's not really doing anything at minus one against two war types. Brings in Snorlax instead, so I gotta watch out about that. And he Dynamaxes Durant, so yeah, as predicted. I hope he goes for Gyarados, because that would be amazing. I doubt he'll go for Milotic. Um, it wouldn't make sense, because I got max Airstream, so I think he'll go for the Gyarados. Hopefully, anyway. And um, we should wake up this turn. So... Yeah, if all goes accordingly, um, Gyarados will protect itself. Rockfall will go towards Gyarados. We'll put um, Durant to sleep. And then next turn we can put Snorlax to sleep to stop him uh, setting up Belly Drum. So let's see how this goes. Because I'm hoping to God it goes my way. <laughs> my Lottic, you better wake up. So Max guards. Rockfall towards Gyarados. Okay. And yes, we wake up as well. So we go after Hypnosis. Awesome. That means Durant has to burn a turn of sleep, which gives us a free turn of max airstream. So if we go for Durant, we'll be faster than it next turn, and then we'll sleep Snorlax because we don't want him sent up Belly Drum, right? So this is a very good turn for us because I know all of these Pokemon, I know that he can't stop this airstream. And this airstream will make my Milotic and Gyarados faster than a lot of his stuff, so... Durant is still asleep, has to burn one turn. And then here comes the max airstream. So this should do, hopefully, over half. Yes, okay, that's a two-hit KO. So after this speed boost, Gyarados is now the fastest Pokemon in this, um, in this battle, so... Next turn, we can kill Durant before he can attack. And yeah, we're just gonna go for a Hypnosis on Snorlax, because... Can't trust that thing. So unfortunately Snorlax will burn the turn on this, this same turn, so he could wake up next turn if he's lucky. So, um... He starts to set up though in order to be a threat, so I'm just going to kill off Duran and set up a coil. In case Milotic has to solo carry this. This will put uh, Milotic at plus 2 speed as well. So Milotic would definitely be probably the fastest thing in this game as well. And it will be able to take care of things like Butterfree with Muddy Water, so... I'm not afraid of Rage Powder, um, but yeah, this this is looking really good to like how I predicted. So, Airstream towards Durant, awesome, he stays in, so this is a KO. And then um, Snorlax can't really do anything unless it sets up, so... Well, we, we now know that he can't Dynamax, right? There's no more Dynamax on his side, so Snorlax ain't Dynamaxing anytime soon. We get our first Moxie boost. That's even that's awesome as well. So we'll get off another coil. And this is just in case something goes wrong, Gyarados dies and Molotic can clean up. So it's like a safety net. Oh, so Snorlax wakes up and goes for Facade, which uh towards Milotic, man. <laughs> yeah, he's not gonna do anything unless he sets up Belly Drum. So I do believe we got this game in the bag, honestly. I don't see much going wrong here. So it goes Dracovish. Uh, we run out of Dynamax, it's not a problem. So Snorlax is not a threat to me. Um, so I'm just going to Power Whip Dracovish. And then uh, Hypnosis uh, Snorlax again. Or... Actually, we'll go for Dracovish because um, from the damage I just saw from Facade, he's really not a threat. So we sleep Dracovish in case Dracovish has something that I'm not aware of. Um, I don't know, sometimes they have Outrage and stuff like that. So Power Whip does well over half. 
Uh, not enough to care. But I guess it's relatively bulky, so fair enough. And Snorax can't really do anything this turn unless uh, sets up. Which it does actually, it goes for Belly Drum. So yeah, Snorlax is a bit of a threat now. Um, to be fair, I'm not too worried about Dracovish now, because realizing Dracovish loses to Milotic now that I've got damage on it, so I say we uh, double into Snorlax. So we'll go for Waterfall for Snorlax, because we need to now attack it and put it asleep, because now it is a threat. And um, Dracovish gets outsped by my guys anyway, so he won't go for Vicious Rend. I'm not sure if he has anything that's threatening, but let's let's ignore him for now because we need to get rid of Snorlax. So we'll hit Snorlax plus one, relatively weak, and then we'll put it asleep as well. So this is just so Milotic can basically clean up if Gyarados um, is KO'd. So everyone's basically muddy water range, I believe, except Snorlax. So Snorlax needs to go first, and then uh, we'll set up a coil. In case Dragovish has some sort of shenanigan up its sleeve. So we're going to kill off um, Snorlax here easily. And then we should get another Moxie boost. So this pretty much seals the game actually. Unless Dracovish pulls out some insane attack that I'm not aware of. But I really don't think he can do anything from here. But how do you come back? I think I'm at plus 4 with Milotic with Coil. He's got Rock Slide. Is this going to KO? No, okay. Phew. Um, yeah, pretty much win from here then. Even if that KO'd, a Muddy Water wins the game. So, yeah, we'll just go for a Waterfall towards Butterfree and uh, Hypnosis towards Dracovish. It doesn't really matter what I do from here. But he decides to protect. I'm not sure why. Is he stalling? Now, honestly, I think we got this. Um, there's no doubt in my head that we got this. So, <laughs> just sleep Dragovish. I think I was hoping for another uh, Rock Slide and then do some sort of Rage Powder shenanigan. It's not going to work out. We're just too... We've got stats all the way up, so it's just not going to work out for him. Oh, he cancelled. Alright, cool. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Um, good game, I guess. That was uh, that's the first time it like genuinely worked out for me. I saw from Team Preview what I had to do, and it just kind of worked. I'm, I'm kind of shocked myself, to be honest. But anyway, this now means we should be here in top 10. So, I'm really excited for this. Hopefully, it doesn't just move me one point up. That would be really frustrating. So, let's do this. What we got? 8th place. Alright, awesome. I'll take that. I went up like 4 points, but... Whatever. It took like 80 battles, but we're here now, so awesome. New record for me. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's upload. Subscribe for more battles, stay tuned, and I'll see you lot in the next one.